Cable versus Fiber Showdown. Watch this before making a decision. In my neighborhood, cable lines run from utility pole to utility pole and then to my house. You'll notice the thick copper cables on the side of my house that run into my basement and then connect to my TV through a cable box for television viewing. I also use cable for my high-speed internet, so another cable runs to a combined modem and router, which then goes to my computer and gives me an internet connection. Fiber or fiber optic internet recently came to my neighborhood, and it also travels from utility pole to utility pole, and then to my house. Notice the small cable labeled fiber optic cable. If I open the box it's running into, you'll notice just how thin the actual fiber optic cable is. As I understand it, the cable is made of strands of glass fiber. Coded information in the form of light travels through this fiber at an extremely high speed. The fiber then enters my house through the basement and into its own modem and router. So which one is better? Let's test them out. On the left, you'll notice the Nokia device provided by the fiber company. I'm on the plan that claims up to 1000 megabits per second. On the right, you'll notice the equipment provided to me by the cable company. I'm also on the plan that claims up to 1000 megabits per second. By the way, both of these plans cost the same amount of money. It may be different in your neighborhood, but is one better than the other? To do the test, we will use an ethernet cable. Let's check the internet speed from the cable company first. I'll plug the ethernet cable into the back of their modem router and then plug the other end into my Apple computer. I'm using an iMac by the way, which doesn't really matter. The first thing I will do is turn off my Wi-Fi because we are hardwired to the internet now using the ethernet cable. Direct connections like this are the fastest. Next, using my Chrome browser, I'll search Google for an internet speed test. Then I'll run the speed test. The cable download speed looks pretty fast. It hit 844.9 megabits per second. That's really good. Not quite a thousand, but internet speeds can vary throughout the day. That's been my experience anyway. Let's see how it does with upload speeds. Wow, the upload speed is only 35.4. That's not very good in my opinion. Let's see how fiber does. I'll take the same ethernet cable running into my computer and plug it into the fiber equipment. Let's run the speed test again. The download speed is 916.6 megabits per second. That's pretty fast too. Let's see how the upload speed does. Wow, it's super fast at 916.9 megabits per second. So what does this mean? It means that if you care about downloading from the internet and streaming shows using your smart devices, like phones, tablets, and TVs, cable and fiber are pretty close, with fiber being just a little faster, at least in my non-scientific test. On the other hand, if you care about uploading files over the internet, Fiber is a lot faster. Let's do a real world test to demonstrate this. I'm a video editor, so I'm used to putting together content and uploading large files all the time. Here's a test video file that's a little over two gigabytes. If I use a service like WeTransfer to upload this file to someone over the internet, let's see how Fiber handles it. I'll click transfer and then start the timer. It's a few seconds off, but that's okay. Wow, it only took Fiber a little more than 30 seconds to send that 2 gigabyte file to someone. Let's see how Cable handles this test. So you'll notice right away that Cable is a lot slower uploading the file. Let's fast forward and see where we end up. So it took nearly seven minutes to upload the two gigabyte file using my local cable company. That's not great. Conclusion. 
As far as which service you'll want to go with, if you are lucky enough to have the choice, that really depends on how you use your high-speed internet. For me, someone who uploads large files all of the time, Fiber is the clear choice. I get things done a lot faster with Fiber. So which did you choose and why? Let me know in the comments section below this video. Well, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.